happening right now. Students at Washington University are marching to protest Israel's war in Gaza. First of all, for Shoshana Stahl is live near the WashU campus with the latest. Shoshana, what are you seeing? Yeah, Melanie, so we're here across the street from WashU's campus. Earlier when police asked for protesters to disperse, we were also asked to leave from campus. This protest has been going on now for more than three hours, starting in Forest Park this afternoon, and then protesters walking, crossing into WashU's campus. Let's give you a look at what you can see right now still happening, like I said, three hours into this. WashU students are asking for the university to divest from Boeing, cut any ties with the organization. They're also asking for any classes that are in Israel, any study abroad programs there to end and to offer classes specifically centering around Palestine. They're also asking for the university to speak out on this. They're asking for people to support them to free Palestine and to save Gaza. They've had a lot of people here in support of them today, hundreds of people, including Board of Aldermen President Megan Green and Alderman Alicia Sonier have been here as well throughout the day. A lot of them have been chanting freeing Palestine. I don't know if you can hear that behind me right now, but we have reached out to WashU asking for any comment or statement about this. Earlier, they had set up encampments outside of the library, but when police had gotten here and asked them to disperse, they did pick up those encampments and bring them with them. WashU so far telling us they don't have a statement or anyone available to comment on this for us. We have also spoken to the Anti-Defamation League. We'll have more on that tonight coming up on First Alert 4 at 10. Live in St. Louis City, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. One of many protests happening across the nation. Thank you, Shoshana.